I snuck into my oldest daughter's room to show you her Lego collection. So we're actually on our way to the mall today. We're going to hit up the Lego shop and pick up a project that her and I can do together. Something big. She's done like all of the Lego Harry Potters. Check them out. Every like one is here. Every Lego Harry Potter. She's put them all together herself. She's 10 and 11. She was 10 when she started. She's 11 now. But she's put them all together. So I thought it'd be cool to get something like very large for us to do. So we're going to head there now and pick something out at the Lego store. We'll see what we come up with. We're at the Lego store waiting for it to open. Right now in contention is this large R2-D2 and then you can't see it but in there they've got the Millennium Falcon. We also want to look at some of the buildings. Yeah, they have the Death Star. We saw the Death Star but that's more of like a play set. It's not like a model where these other ones are more models. The Death Star like has all kinds of people and it's more interactive, like you're meant to play with it. So there should be opening in like, well actually it should have opened already because it's after 11. So we're hanging out out front waiting to get in and we're going to see what we uh, pick out. I don't know, I'm leaning towards the R2-D2. I know Kevin Tofel is working on that right now and it's been taking him a while, but um, that's a possibility. They've got this huge ship too. Um, I don't know that we're going to do the Star Destroyer. It's just way too big. It's uh, a lot of pieces. How many pieces is it? 3,152. Or R2-D2 is 2,127. So, I don't know. This should be open and soon we'll go in. Alright, so here's what's in the running. We're looking at the Tower Bridge, which the guy that works in the Lego store told us is the hardest model in the store. We're looking at R2-D2. Let's walk over to R2-D2. Yeah, we're looking at R2-D2. And then we're looking at the Millennium Falcon. Abby likes the Death Star, but I don't know, I'm not sold on that. So those are the three or four that we're considering right now. Now we just have to make a decision. All right, we've added one more to the mix, and that's the Firehouse. They have like all these building series, and we're looking at this Firehouse, which is 10,197 pieces. I think we may go with that one. What do you think, Abby? Yeah? All right, we've made our decision. We're going with the Firehouse. It's right here, 16 and up. It's 10,197 number. Oh, I'm totally screwing up the pieces, by the way. It's 2,231 pieces. I think on the other one I said 10,000 pieces. But that's like the item number, not the number of pieces. The pieces is 2,231. This is twice the amount of pieces, 4,287. So it's a lot more pieces than that. So this one's only 2,221. So, But I think it's a good one to start with, right? All right, so that's what we're going to go with. The girls are clothes shopping. I just hit up the Apple store. Eh, you know, there was like a few exciting things, but nothing that really caught my eye. Some new cases. I did notice a new case from Spec called the Gem Shell for the iPhone. I hadn't seen that before. It's kind of a clear case going over here where I can sit down. And I also saw a new case from Spec for the iPod Touch. And it was like a massive gaming case. Not one that I saw at CES, like the one that has the vibrating features, but... This literally felt like uh, the controller for the Xbox 360, and you put your iPod Touch in it. I didn't grab any of them. Uh, other than that, a few other accessories that kind of wowed me, but nothing all that exciting. Obviously, everyone's getting ready for tomorrow, which is WWDC. And uh, other than that, I'm just hanging out with my girls are clothes shopping. We're going to head over to the other side of the mall. By the way, I'm in the King of Prussia Mall. We're going to head over to the other side to Cheesecake Factory to get some food once uh, they're done shopping. We're at the Cheesecake Factory, and the menu here is literally how many pages? 20? No, 21, including the desserts and beverages. 21 pages long. How could anyone possibly decide what to eat here? That's the biggest problem I always have when I come here. Inevitably, I always get the same thing, but it's like brunch, kind of, and I always get something that's for lunch, so I'm not sure. I always get the Bang Bang Chicken and Shrimp, which is probably somewhere on this page. I don't know where it is. I don't see it. Oh, so it's definitely here somewhere. But I'm going to get something else. What page is brunch on? I'm look at brunch. Page 17? No, that's sandwiches. So, yeah, Sunday brunch. I'm going to look for something for brunch. I, I can't manage the menu. Appetizers up first. We got corn dogs and corn fritters. I didn't realize we ordered two kinds of corn things. Right? Those hot dogs look good with mustard. And look how good those corn dog fritters look. They look good. 
the kids got their meals, but we didn't get our meals. Look at the ooey gooey pepperoni pizza. What did Ava get? Ava got chicken sliders. Ava, those look good. And Amanda got grilled cheese. I'm not looking at you, Amanda. Amanda still has this fascination with making faces at the camera. So now she won't be in the vlogs anymore. So you won't be seeing Amanda's pretty face in the vlogs anymore. Right, Amanda? Look. Oh, gotcha. See? Oh, that was too fast. So now Mommy and I are waiting for our food. It's not here yet. All right, so my food came. I got fish tacos, tempura style. Still no food for Mommy, though. We're waiting for her omelet to come. What do you want to be known as? She doesn't like to be known as Mommy. <laughs> the chocolate coconut cream cheesecake never stood a chance. We devoured it. And it was delicious. I was the only one who was eating So now Ava's getting in on the silly face market. Thanks, Amanda. Yeah, thanks, Amanda. I'm the good girl. Oh, right. Wait, say that again? I'm the good girl. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Nice try. <laughs> you just you just bumped my arm when I'm holding the camera. Oh, well. Amanda, are you ever going to stop doing that? <laughs> <laughs> She's oh boy, alright, goodbye Atari's right here Amanda, I, we walked into Urban Outfitters And I said, oh look, Atari And Amanda, what did you say? I don't know what that is You said, oh, what's that? Atari Atari is the first video game Daddy ever owned It's like actually different Because that one doesn't take cartridges But um, it's like Xbox But it's like the first oh, Xbox That's a giant TV player Yeah, that's pretty cool Let's go over here. They have other cool um, accessories over here. Heavy. Yeah, oh, those are cool. What are they made out of, though? Look at a little tape cassette. I like that. That's kind of cool. It's like made out of dough, like Look at these cameras, Abby. They're kind of cool. Alright, we're going to kill time in Urban Outfitters. Alright, we love these, right, girls? The eye plunge, which is a little plunger that you stick to the back of your iPhone and makes a stand, and then the eye wrench, which is like the, like the, I don't even know what it's like, but it's another stand. And then check these out. The 80s phone, put your iPhone in there and it makes it into like an 80s phone. We love all that stuff, really cool. I managed to convince the family to make a quick stop in the comic book store. Of course, I'm checking out all the Green Lantern gear. There's one over there, and then... My family already knows to point it out to me when they see it. There's more. There's more. There's more. And we'll go walk around. Alright, it's our last stop of the day in JCPenney. We're looking for... Actually, Karen... I'm not allowed to call her Mommy on the vlog anymore. Is looking for a Bazinga t-shirt. And I only know that they have them here because... Jay from I Love Gadget 77 did a vlog and they had him here. So I've gotten my wife hooked on Big Bang Theory, so she wants a Bazinga shirt. Is that a small? That looks like it fits. That fits. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to get the Bazinga shirt. So that's about it. We, we actually have a lot more tap for today. Um, Ava right here, Michael Jackson Jr., still sporting the hat. She has a birthday party this afternoon and then we're going over to a friend's house for barbecue tonight. So I'm going to close this out because we're already kind of long, but we did find the Bazinga shirt.